that much time before dark. <laughs> Turns out that uh, all the e-scouting that I did, there was a, a couple other trucks in some other spots I was gonna park and go in, so I'm gonna go up this other spot and uh, I'm gonna get up here as high as I can tonight set up, we gotta get moving. As I've gotten older, I've come to love these late season mule deer hunts more and more. It's probably my most looked forward to hunt every year now. Forever, it was always archery elk. But I guess you can say, I've got the mule deer bug now. I think the style of hunting mule deer is what I love most. Get up high and glass. I find I am more connected with the landscape when I have more time to sit in glass instead of running and gunning through heavy timber. Spot and stock. This is my favorite method of hunting. I love hunting with buddies, but there's something about these solo hunts that is cleansing. It's just you and the mountain. You really find out what you're made of on these solo hunts, and I absolutely love it. quick see if I can see something moving there's I see a bunch of deer tracks in here and some fresher poop so, there's deer around here someplace Chili Mac with beef, one of my faves. That was uh, quite the hike up here. I'm not very far from the truck. I got here way too late and uh, I, I've never been in this country before, so. Actually, this is not my uh, first choice where I'm at. Never been in here, all I've seen is this country on Google Earth and Onyx. And uh, as it always goes, it looks way different <laughs> than it does on maps on a computer. Weather's calling for some uh, moisture tonight or tomorrow morning. Actually, I think, I think early, early morning. So we'll see. Might wake up to some rain or snow, but uh, there's this sweet little glassing spot right over here, probably like a hundred yards away. So I'll go get over there and uh, first light and see if we can see anything moving around. I didn't get a really good look tonight. It was getting pretty dark and I didn't have all my stuff so just want to get in here get situated and uh, make some dinner get up in the morning and get after it hopefully we can find some deer didn't get as much snow as I thought we were gonna get I mean, it's just, just a little dusting. It's not even really snow, it's like ice falling from the sky. I haven't seen anything moving yet this morning, but it's early, so we still got a lot, a lot to class here. A lot of country to look over.
haven't seen anything this morning. Nothing. <laughs> no sign of life, except for me. I've seen deer sign, but no deer yet. Just drinking some coffee. Watching this mountainside over here. See if anything comes moving through here. I can pretty much shoot anywhere over there if I need to. Sun finally came up. Catching some sun, warming up a little bit. Good news is I haven't seen any other hunters. But I did see some other uh, other hunters down the road parked yesterday. I think two others, two or three. So, not too bad. But this country in here is just it's pretty nasty. My original plan was to get up to this ridge and camp up there. I haven't even made it there yet. So I don't, I don't know if I'll uh, move camp up there or not. I'll probably just glass this all day. I'll probably move at some point and then, uh, I don't know. There's just so much country up here that I want to see. this snow stops soon. I'm gonna push up to this next high point right here and see if I can see back over to my left because where I'm at right now in this saddle can't see anything because of the timber. So I bet I can see a lot up there. Hopefully a monster buck will walk right through this saddle. Pretty peaceful, really. With the snow coming down, it's dead quiet, calm, peaceful. Stop 
snowing, so sun just came out. So I might shed this rain jacket and head up to this next point. of water to drink and then I have some water for dinner tonight but that's it and I just don't like the thought of 12 ounces of water it's either I hike back all the way down which I don't want to do because it's steep AF and go back and get water I just stay up here today and then probably go out first thing in the morning and get more water and then come back in but it's like 1230 now so it's like if I'm gonna go out and come back in I should probably do that now but I don't know what I want to do <laughs> can't make a decision Cause I kind of want to sit here in class, but I don't have that much water. I was hoping to find water in here. I got my water purifier in my tent, but dry as a bone. Decided to uh, make my way back down. I'm gonna go get some water. Well, I went down the mountain, steep, made it halfway down, forgot the keys to my truck, <laughs> came back up, grabbed my keys, started walking down, went like another hundred yards and was like, maybe I should grab that water bladder, came back, grabbed it, went back down, got caught in another snowstorm, I left the camera here. Anyways, I just got back up here. I filled up my two Nalgene's and then this plastic uh, water bladder with like probably 150 ounces of water. So threw that in my pack, came back. So now I have water for, I don't know, I could make it three days but if I'm not seeing deer up here I'm gonna be out of here in a day or two and go somewhere else 
But there's a lot of deer sign in here. There's poop everywhere. There's tracks. But I haven't seen a single deer yet today. I still got about an hour, hour and 40 minutes of light, hour and a half. So I'm gonna go check a couple of spots and see if I can find any deer. I didn't see anything over moving around on the other side. I'm gonna class this spot right here for a little bit. Just got back to my tent. It's pretty cold this evening. It's gonna be a cold night. Didn't see anything, so. Starting to snow again. So I'm gonna make some dinner and uh, get in my sleeping bag, because it's cold. It's currently snowing, so I'm making Dinner in my vestibule. Spaghetti tonight. Mmm, yum. It's windy AF this morning, and it's super cold. Like my fingers I'm a little concerned about right now. Cause these gloves I have on are they're not very good, apparently. It's probably in the teens with the wind chill. We got another layer of snow last night. Not much, just half inch. If that, just a little dusting. That was pretty much right at, right at uh, sunset. And uh, yeah, the weather wasn't calling for wind today, so I don't know what this is about. But that's not very fun. I'm gonna try and make my way back up to this, this ridge and get over and look on the backside because I'm not seeing anything over here on this side.
It's about 9.40. Still haven't seen anything. And I've glassed a lot of country in here. A lot of country. Nothing's moving around. I'm starting to think that uh, this might not be the best spot to be. It's pretty awesome country though. I mean, there's deer sign. I mean, older deer sign, but no more than a week. only thing that I can think of is I came in here on Sunday night. The season opened Saturday. And there were some other trucks. I can't imagine other dudes are coming back here though. Because it's a trek from the road and it's it's not very forgiving country. So I don't know where where they could be. Pretty windy today. I got my Kuyu puffy jacket and my puffy pants on right now. And it's, it's awesome. I would not be able to sit here and do this in this wind without these puffy pants and puffy jacket. Probably gonna hang out here for a couple hours anyway. And see if anything comes moving through. See if I can spot anything moving around. And make some coffee and uh, just hang out. Do some more glassing. Definitely time for a cup of coffee. There's nothing better than a cup of coffee on a mountain, unless it's big bucks and coffee. I didn't even cut a single track in the snow from last night. The only tracks that I saw this morning were rabbits and coyote. And I'll shoot a coyote if I see one. But that's not why we're here. So windy. Man, I'm just not seeing anything. I haven't seen anything moving. Nothing. And I got here Sunday night. So it's Tuesday afternoon now. It's it's almost noon. It's about 11:30 right now, but uh, I don't know. I think I'm just gonna head back to camp and break down camp and hike out of here back to my truck and drive a little further south and check out a check out a couple other spots and then uh, I might even just camp next to my truck because there's a bunch of more country that I want to see and at this point I'd just rather be mobile and day hike it because uh, man it's just crazy I can't believe I haven't seen anything in here Just a little breezy today. Just a mild breeze. No big deal. I think I might break down camp here and get off this mountain. Go somewhere else. Just not super stoked. I mean, I was stoked. It looks freaking awesome and just not seeing anything for me to stay.
Well, it happened way too fast, but I just got to buck down. About 100 yards, if that. And uh, I just got down on a knee and he came past these trees and just dropped him, dropped him in his tracks. He's right up here. As much as I wanted to get the shot on camera, I was faced with a choice, and in this situation, it was now or never, and I wasn't prepared to let him go. season Colorado buck. Nice three by three. I sent out on this solo adventure with the main goal to test myself both physically and mentally. I learned more about myself on this hunt than I knew before. And that was success in itself. The buck at the end was just icing on the cake. This buck will help provide for me and my family this winter. And for that, I am forever grateful. I cannot wait for next November.